Yeah, give it a little bit. No choice. Here we go. Just like, that's good, that's good, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think she's happy, you can tell. Dr. Pete. I'm gonna play a word association game. Are you ready? I am ready. You're always ready, aren't you? I was born ready for this, Chad. Okay, I am going to say uh, a phrase, and then you are going to say the first thing that comes to your mind on three. Ready, one, two, three, rhino pills. That's the end of the game. Okay, welcome to Uncomfortable Questions. I am Chad Callahan with HIMSS, and with me we have a resident expert, Dr. Peter Stahl, who is a board-certified urologist, a nationally renowned expert in sexual medicine, and the senior vice president for men's sexual health at HIMSS. He also happens to be my best friend. It's great to be here with you, Chad, and it's great to be your best friend. I really mean it. No, no one's a better friend to me than you. Aww. How many of us are there? You're my only friend. Thank you for pointing that out, Dr. Sorry. Pete. Okay, let's talk about rhino pills. I okay, think that's so, a great idea. Um, <laughs> these are probably known to people as gas station pills, boner pills. They are advertising all sorts of things to benefit my sexual prowess. I'm gonna read to you the list of things that rhino pills are advertising, and uh, afterwards we'll talk about it. Are you ready? Here is the full list, okay. Rhino pills tell me that they are going to maximize the time of sexual intercourse. They are going to stop premature ejaculation, maximize ejaculate volume, provide rock hard increase erections, increase penis length, with and make thickness. orgasms more intense and explosive, 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 and improve sexual confidence. Tell me, are any of these claims true? No, I don't think they are, Chad. Well, that's our episode. No, I'm kidding. Uh, they're not true. Well, if they were true, they probably have a better name than Rhino Pills. They probably wouldn't be sold in the gas station. Uh, they'd probably be on every pharmaceutical shelf and every drugstore in the United States. Um, so no, they're, they're unfortunately not true. There is nothing that does all of those things, and only a few active pharmaceuticals that do any of those things. Well, I feel very betrayed. That shopping trip was a waste. Can I have a garbage can, please? That's all right, Chad, because we, we can talk about other options. I'm really upset. Okay, since I have a resident urologist on, uh, on hand with me, what, what are guys experiencing when they do take these rhino pills and they, they claim to experience at least all or some of these benefits? Like, what's going on with these pills? Yeah, well, I'm glad we're talking about this because as much as we're joking around, these, the companies that produce these pills are, are fairly predatory in a lot of ways. I think... They are um, really taking advantage of the fact that a large percentage of men, particularly older men, have struggled with sexual function in some way uh, or are having an ongoing struggle with sexual function. Yeah. They're also taking advantage of the fact that it's difficult to seek help for ED or other sexual problems and a lot of men remain untreated and they're putting, you know, what seems like a too good to be true solution in front of everybody every time they buy a you know a candy bar, yeah. a pack of cigarettes, which is probably making their ED worse, or um, you know paying for gas at the gas station, and these are unfounded promises. Right. Okay, so they're like they're not going to do me much good, but is there any harm in taking them? Like if I were to yeah, go so, back to that trash can so, and pull yeah, a couple out, I, I think there there is potential harm. So I, I think if I remember now, you were asking. Why have, <laughs> he dropped another rhino pill. That's all right, we'll get it later. You're asking, why do people feel like these medicines work? Yeah, um, yeah. And, and there are really two answers to that. Um, number one is in any sexual medicine clinical trial that has been done, there is always a really big placebo effect. Right. The other more nefarious reason though is that a lot of those over-the-counter supplements that are sold in gas stations or delis or online actually are spiked illegally with active drugs. So the FDA has done a lot of investigations into sex supplements, and there's a very large list that's accessible online right. of <clears throat> pills that were marketed as over-the-counter natural remedies for sexual problems that turned out to be spiked with the active ingredients in Viagra, Cialis, or 
other ED meds. So the FDA has a list of like the ones that have been proven to be spiked with stuff that is not legal. That's right, um, and that's you know maintained and updated constantly. But that's not just bad practice, it's actually dangerous for patients because there are some men for whom ED medications can be dangerous or even fatal when combined with certain other medicines for, you know, in particular, certain heart medicines that uh, relieve chest pain when taken with ED meds can cause a fatal interaction. And there are other conditions or medicines that really require careful adjustment of a dose or yeah. a frequency of, of a, you know, a prescription ED medicine in order to be able to use it safely and effectively. And that's all thrown out the window when you're spiking you know, a natural remedy with sildenafil, the active ingredient in Viagra, for example. So if they're working, it's probably because A, I want them to work, I believe they'll work and there's a placebo effect at play, or B, they're spiked with something that should be regulated by a doctor that probably shouldn't be sold to me by um, an attendant at a liquor store or a gas station. Yeah, I think that's really fair to say. Um, and, and I don't want you to come out of this thinking that my opinion is that there are absolutely no natural supplements or vitamins that can help with sexual function, because yeah. that, that's not true. It's just that rare studies of certain supplements that have shown benefit have been when those supplements are used at specific doses every day for weeks or months. You know, the use of an on-demand natural product yeah. to promote sexual function has really almost zero basis in well-done clinical studies. So uh, sildenafil... Tadalafil, Vardenafil, Avanafil, those are the four FDA-approved ED medications. Um, and I, I can't reiterate it enough that these over-the-counter rhino pill type supplements are not FDA approved. Right. They are not regulated in the same way as active pharmaceuticals. Um, and their efficacy and safety are really unknown. So, and if I'm gonna get one of those four substances um, that are FDA approved, you can go through a telehealth company like Hims, or to see your doctor about getting one of those substances. But it sounds like as far as rhino pills are concerned, I should be saying rhino to rhino pills. Rhino to rhino pills. Aren't you proud of me for that one? No. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Maybe. I'm just kidding, Chad. I'm here, I'm here for the long haul. Do you see the way he toys with me? That's love. If you want more uncomfortable questions and their very comfortable answers, make sure and hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll have more coming your way soon.